Hi guys, most Johns and Hate Independent Sensi Consultant. Still Dale. Um, although this isn't a Sensi video, I should have just said welcome back to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, yeah. Um, welcome to the channel. Yeah, so lighting is good for you. All right, mm -hmm. so I do have a Sassy Girl Roma haul. Um, this is from November 7th pre-order. Charby. <laughs> um, I feel <laughs> guilty having this. Um because of all the traumatic things that have gone on with Julie, I just, I feel like I shouldn't have this yet. So I somehow feel like guilty <laughs> that I have this, even though I'm excited. But um, yeah, so send, you know, thoughts and prayers out to Julie and her family. Yeah. Um, they lost their son. So tragically, suddenly. So. We've been, um, and we've been thinking about her and all of them and praying for them. Yeah, for sure yeah. very much I invite so. you to do the same yeah please um so here is their card julian tyrell gebzik <clears throat> and this is from doma washington um so we have sample clips they're different they're like smaller um like pretty like almost like a mini pie <laughs> <laughs> like um oops well there goes gingy <laughs> But, um, so we have these. So the first one I have had, I have a brittle of this one. Um, it's called... Oh, that's you. <laughs> that was a kitty cat on my foot. <laughs> oh. uh, it's called... Come on, camera. Well, it's supposed to say Martini in the Alps. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love this. It's nice and fruity and fresh, like a fresh fruity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, it's refreshing. This will be one of my the videos that I'm on when I'm invited to be on that you'll just hear me say that's really nice because everything that she does as a sassy girl is yeah. just outstanding. So. Yeah, uh, I think that's why she's one of my favorite vendors because very rarely do I ever not like something. Yeah. Um, she's just really good at mixing. So this one is called Passionate Cupcakes. So I've never had this one before. Um, oh, that's pretty. It's kind of like a pink sugar and a white cake. Almost kind of like a slight strawberry. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That's really nice. Mm. <laughs> Passionate cupcakes. Yeah, so I would definitely buy a brittle of that. That's really good. And mm. then I'll let. Do you need me to read these? Or? No. Okay, he has glasses, so his Clark Kent glasses. They are not Clark Kent glasses. <laughs> You're so funny. I Pardon mean, me. I am Superman, but that's Try beside to turn the, the lighting off of him oh. so it's data clear. Which one do you want to start Whichever. With? You pick all the <clears throat> after. Okay, this is called Maple Brittle. Isn't it pretty? Yep. <laughs> she does such a beautiful job with these. They're just so beautiful. Little designs on them and everything. Peanut Brittle, Chocolate and Caramel or Caramel. Maple Swirl. You didn't smell it. <laughs> well, that means I have to open it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I've never this is any. really good. Mm. It's hard to resist her pre orders, so I've been trying not to even look <laughs> because yeah. I wanted to take a slight break and I haven't even warmed the majority of them <laughs> because I just keep buying them. So I just wanted to take a slight break, but yeah, in November. Oh yeah. It is like chocolate peanut brittle. <laughs> Almost like a coffee, but it's a caramel maple swirl. When I first smelled it, I smelled like that. You know how you get those, the maple leaf candies? Yeah. That kind of thing that jumped right out. And then, but it goes deeper than that. And it's uh, it's mm. a good chocolate. It's, yeah. it's more edible chocolate. Ugh. Yeah, that's fun. That's that's me. I like that kind of thing. So that's fun. very nice. This next one, and this is really pretty. Uh, Strawberry Woods. 
Look at those colors. That's like you're in your favorite colors. Mm -hmm. That minty. Yeah. Strawberry pound cake and iced vanilla woods. Strawberry pound cake, iced vanilla. I'm still trying to decide if I like strawberry pound cake. I know I like fresh picked, realistic strawberry smells. Mm, this is lovely. Wow. <laughs> These are like broken. This one's broken, but, yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't oh. change the smell. <laughs> It almost reminds me of shaving cream. It must be the iced vanilla woods. Oh, I love iced vanilla woods. That's really beautiful. It's very nice. Oh, I love that. I now know I'm a huge iced vanilla woods fan. Oh man, that's amazing. I not I smell mostly the ice vanilla woods. It smells like the sweet, beautiful shaving cream. I'm obsessed with that. <laughs> shaving cream. <that's> <laughs> I don't I don't think about what shaving cream smells like. You do? Maybe I don't. <clears throat> so this is I, I love the the I've said this before when we've done hers, but I love the thing she has, the sta say saying or the statement, the, what do you call that, the marquee. Be kind because you never know how much the person beside you is suffering. And I absolutely love, that's such a thought-provoking thing. This one, I thought of uh, our friend Scott. <laughs> yeah, me too. When I ordered this. As soon as I saw this, I, I thought he likes that, zombie yeah, things. he's into this. Zombie apocalypse is what this one is called. You can tell by the color, too. It's really zombie apocalypse um more in paranormal society if you check them out on youtube that's our friend scott for yeah yeah there Ooh. oh there's like this little thing that hits you dragon's blood and roasted pine cones now i've never smelled dragon's blood personally it, before. it's an actual incense oil though. oh okay because i haven't seen a dragon recently but I mean, I was dragging a little bit when I got up this morning, but it's Clark Kent this is really good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I who'd have thunk that I would like dragon's blood. Yeah, I get like an incense store. <laughs> it's really good. I actually like stuff like that. The pine cones. Oh yeah, pine cones in an incense store. <laughs> I actually love stuff like that. Maybe I'm a hippie at heart. You are. You're a hippie at heart. I'm I don't just, know. I'm just That's a, a good hippie, one. That one's pretty. I don't have any hair anymore, but I was a hippie. Love that. <laughs> Great names. So this one's called Embrace Your Fire Side. My fire side, yes. <laughs> Roasted honey, butter, smoky, earthy cedar. Pine, brown sugar, vanilla bonfire. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you always have me a bonfire. <laughs> bonfire. Again, I'm just going to say, oh, this is fantastic for like every one of these minutes. It's like a foodie, woodsy smell. What am I smelling? I smell the butter, which yeah, is really I smell interesting. Butter. Yeah. It's not a scent you, that in my mind you would just think of. Earthy cedar, not so much. It's blended really well. Yeah, it's really blended. The pine is blended really well. I get the foodie, which I think is the butter, the honey, and the brown sugar, and then the vanilla bonfire. It just makes me want to embrace my fire side. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> it's a little bit foodie, really a little good. bit cozy. I like it. That's really good. That's so well done. Mm. Yeah, embrace your fire side. That's a fun one. This next one is named after Melissa. It's called Heat Miser. What? <laughs> heat miser, you like your, you like your heat. What? 
<laughs> well, I got a little heater up in your office and... and because I sit in between two windows and it's freezing. You put my fingers. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying that, you know, you, you have all that heat in that room now. I thought a heat visor was stingy. Yeah, you're stingy with your heat. You don't give. You don't let me stay up there. That is not true. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Uh, I might just do that. I might just come up and just sit there all day. Anyways. It's really nice. Uh, this is Palo Santo and Cracklin Birch. I like the name of this because it reminds me of the old claymation, you know, the heat, heat miser. Oh, yes. That's <laughs> right. What, yeah. What, what's he called? Heat miser. I think. I don't know. Or is it just Rudolph? I think that's Rudolph. The red nose reindeer. Yeah. That's Palo lovely. Santo, Cracklin Birch. Yeah. Because I'm not really familiar with, you know, like the. But, but I think what I'm smelling is the Palo Santo, if I understand correctly. It's like a sweet wood. It's really beautiful smelling. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I smell both. That's nice. Mm. I feel like Sensi Palo Santo was very. Cassie felt like it was your neighbor. His, their house is on fire. Um, but I think it's like a real sweet wood. I mm -hmm. don't get fire. Mm hmm. Yeah, that, this definitely was very sweet. Cracklin birch. It's woodsy. Cracklin birch. It's sweet. Almost slightly perfumey. Must be the cracklin birch that makes it perfumey. Maybe. Mm. I don't know. Oh, that's good. <laughs> you have pretty colors. <laughs> See, <I'm> cracking. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this one uh, is named after me. You, you have the clone in there. Godfather. <laughs> Make your nose you can't refuse. This is tobacco leaf, ginger, spice tonka, bean, cocoa, coca, fruit. I'm sorry, bean, tonka bean, cocoa, fruit accord. I don't know if those all blend together, but that's, that's what wax does. These are clone notes. Oh, are they? I've had this one. Oh yes. <laughs> this is nice. This is really, yeah, it's very, as you say, colony. I don't think there's such a word, but you say that. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> I just feel like I smell tobacco, yeah, tobacco leaf. Mm -hmm. Tobacco ginger, yeah. I think it's the tobacco leaf and the ginger I'm smelling. Hmm. Yeah, that's nice. It's almost like gourmand cologne kind of thing. That's Godfather. Very nice. This is called Carb Overload. Oh, look at that. This is what you've had after the holidays. <laughs> Carb Overload. Blackberry jam, butter cookies, Blackberry jam, butter cookies, strawberry pound cake, cupcakes at Tiffany's. Ooh. It sounded super fun. Hmm? It sounded super fun. It does, doesn't it? Uh, we'll see. That one broke so weird. That's very strange. <laughs> This is really, this is quite a different scent. This is really nice. Mm. I'm just still not sure if I love strawberry pancake. Mm. I needed to get I just a strawberry pancake. Oh no, that's nice. Oh, <coughs> oh, you guys, look. No, my OCD hates this. <laughs> look. <laughs> no. It happens. I know. And that's what I'll be melting first. <laughs> Well, that's good because it's a good one. I do love that. Mm. You get all of those things. Um, I, I don't think the blackberry is as strong as I thought it was going to be. I do smell the um, strawberry pound cake and think I really like that. Mm -hmm. what is, how can I really smell like that? Oh, there's a little tiny piece. I don't know. <coughs> <laughs> okay, it's just 
an OCD thing. It's okay. <laughs> but that's pardon, carb overload. And pardon me if I cough every once in a while. And it's, it's I've got the extended symptom from having COVID a while back. So anyway, campfire cuddles. Mm. <laughs> this has got the smell of air. I like that. Air, apple, musk, fall foliage, smoky, earthly cedar, pine, brown sugar, vanilla. It's got like a little bit of everything. Now, I'm a little scared because I don't always love smoky, woodsy with apple, but I was like, I want to try her version because I know I don't like apple s'mores from Scentsy, so I just wanted to try this version of this sort of thing and see how I felt about it. Hmm. Because I'm picky with apple. Like, I usually like apple, mm. but not so much with woodsy. Well, I like woodsy and apple. I don't necessarily like it if it's all, like, if it's the wood, the apple, and, like, a marshmallow -y. Really getting the cedar sent off. And this is beautiful. I love this. This is very good. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. She does such a great job. So it's like a cologne apple. But do you smell the cedar? Yeah, I have yeah, to think about I, it. Well, I had to think about it too, but I, I'm only reminded of my grandmother had a cedar chest in her in her bedroom, and she would keep blankets in it and so forth. And she, when you'd open it, you'd get that aroma. Oh, you guys, that's like an apple cologne. That would make a good cologne for you. Mm, that's, that's very good. Very nice. That's really good. Okay, I'm glad I took and ventured on that one. It's good to be brave. <laughs> so, especially with her, it's pretty safe. This is called Butterscotch Marshmallows. I so, before I read the description, colors. you want to see the colors. Hmm. They're just amazing. Fantastic. Like this one looks happy. <laughs> Bourbon Butterscotch and Marshmallow Fireside. This is going to be great. Steph. I can tell right now. Steph from Steph Melts. This reminded me of you, too. Like, this seems like one you'd love, too. I love oh butterscotch. Oh, my gosh. This is so... The bourbon butterscotch is so present. Her husband, Mike, really loves mm, this is bourbon, really, butterscotch bourbon. Kind. This is beautiful. Oh. Wow. That is nice. Wow. Marsh I love marshmallow fires like anything. Yeah. Wow, with that bourbon butterscotch. It's wow, I yeah. really love butterscotch marshmallows. Mm. Ooh, Steph from Steph Melts, I'm sure you got this, but if you didn't, you need that. <laughs> That's a good one. This is called Return to Oz. Name alone, this got me. <laughs> like the, yeah, I'm the Wizard of Oz. Pumpton? Pumpton? Pumpton. <laughs> Pumpkin. Pumpkin pecan waffles, salted caramel, blackberry jam butter cookies, and oh, I'm sorry, blackberry jam butter cookies and zucchini bread. Um, got some commas missing, sorry. This <laughs> one's very cookie. popular, like has a cult following. So I was like, I need to try it. I love all those scent notes. Really, there's like whole groups mm -hmm. of people that love this. Yeah. Oh. Dale is now a member of the Sassy Girl. Um, yeah, I'm in the club. <laughs> the Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the group. New member. Pumpkin pecan waffles. Yummy. Salted caramel. Mm. Blackberry jam. Oh, I love blackberry jam. You know that. Butter cookies. It's, we it, know we like that. The oil is blackberry jam butter cookies. Just oh, that. is that what it is? Okay. And oh zucchini goodness. bread. Out of experience, do I know this? Mmm. The nice. Yeah, this I love is the green color. This color is on the this back. is peaceful. Peaceful. Hmm. Is it this fall? This is really beautiful. I would say fall. Yeah. For all year. Hmm. Yeah, I think it could be any time really, but I think it's fall. It's a fall scent. Just me. Just my thoughts. Yeah, it's the pumpkin pecan waffles that makes it fall like. Yeah, it's really beautiful. I bet you it's the blackberry jam butter cookies that makes it feel peaceful to you. Hmm. And then I get the caramel, the zucchini bread. Yeah, I mean, you could do this year round because it's, it's, it's very foody, but it's also peaceful, like fall yeah. peaceful. Hmm. 
Yeah, Return to Oz. That's a fun one. You guys, the colors. <laughs> I just, I have to. Hold on. Wait, let me seal back up. But the colors. Wait. Oh, my OCD can't. Hold on. Okay. Look. The purple, the green, the orange, the yellow. It's like witchy. <laughs> I, just, I have to. It's really cute. All right. These, I love these colors. Midnight Lace. Beach Night with Vanilla Lace. It sounded amazing. The colors. <laughs> really pretty colors. Mm -hmm. hmm? Beach, I love Beach Nights anything, and then I've never tried Vanilla Lace from Victoria's Secret, but. Oh, this is another one. It's just very peaceful. Mm. This is beautiful. The vanilla is wonderful in this. <laughs> like a vanilla perfume and beach dates. I don't perfume. think so. Just vanilla. It's really nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. Just so you know, beach nights is a little perfumey. Peaceful. <laughs> I believe you. Yeah. Midnight lace. I'm serious. I don't think you can go wrong with any beach night blend. Midnight lace. That's great. It's very nice. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> well, hello right back to you. Let's see here. Vanilla pumpkin marshmallow and gingerbread. So again, with the vanilla, and you love marshmallow, I love marshmallow. We all love marshmallow. The combination of the gingerbread and the pumpkin is really fantastic. I love gingerbread everything. I know I love good marshmallow and gingerbread. Mm -hmm. oh, I love this. The gingerbread gives me um, winter biscuits vibes. Mm. Oh, it's like an actual gingerbread. It's a really really wonderful smell oh and the sweetness fill goodness. your house with that like you're mark. making gingerbread if you yeah. like winter biscuits as much as i do hello gorgeous you'll love no, it's, it no, it's hello gorge 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 geos <laughs> hello, gorge. <laughs> I, love, I love it <laughs> emphasis on the gourd huh? this one is oh my gourd <laughs> <laughs> oh my gourd <laughs> toasted pumpkin spice Marshmallow, fireside, and gingerbread. Mm. These are like, you want to eat them. Mm. Can you tell fall is my favorite? 90% <laughs> of my, well, probably 75% of my wax is like fall. <laughs> fall. Wow, this is beautiful. You can just lay down beside this and go to sleep. This is really nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like marshmallow fireside and gingerbread. <laughs> oh, it's funny how the marshmallow fireside changes this one a little more. It makes it almost a little more perfumey gingerbread. Mm, I would wear that. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> well, this next one, very pretty. Look at that. It's called... Steph from Steph Mills makes me think of you. <laughs> Torch liqueur. <laughs> Torch liqueur. Which is roasted marshmallow, brown sugar, vanilla, and sweet caramel liqueur. Sounds amazing. Sounds amazing. Um, salted caramel, no, toasted caramel, black velvet whiskey we love. <laughs> In like yeah, soda it's, pop. Yeah, it's nice, yeah. Or plain. <laughs> that one's good. Yeah, I had to teach you to only use one shot of that when you're doing something. She poured like whole glasses <laughs> of it. And... <laughs> I can't remember most of the night <laughs> after that. We're not well versed on drinking, so you know, it was just a guess. That's nice. It's like this smoky vibe to it. 
That's the torch. Uh, almost like, yeah, like a creme brulee, caramelized sugar. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's one of my new favorite things. Mm. <laughs> yeah, very creme brulee-ish. <sighs> That's so we both really love books, and I especially love old books, and going into an old bookshop. That's what this is called. We love go. We have one right here in our area, but when we are away, when we travel, we like to see old bookshops. There's a really great bookshop in Kent, Ohio, just mm. off the university, Kent University campus that's fantastic. I have a bunch, most of my Harry Potter books there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one yeah, just wonderful. Oh, Worn here. leather, suede, cedar, patchouli, aged books, and rosewood. These be really good. So Hi. far still, my favorite bookstore type oh, smell my. is bookstore, book, bookstore, bookshop, bookstore, from Hayden Rose. So I'm hoping this is a similar. Mm. been so long it, since I had that one. This will take you right off the sidewalk into the into the shop. Really? This is absolutely beautiful. I love worn leather. I think that's a... I love this. Isn't that wonderful? It is a little more perfumey. Probably the rosewood. Mm. Almost like fancy soap inside of a bookstore. Mm. Yeah, it's not quite like the Hayden Row one, but um, this is pretty. Yeah, the rosewood's giving it like a soapy smell, though. Hmm. You smell? Yeah, perhaps. I just, I just imagine myself. I see the titles that these makers, you know, the, <laughs> and that, and then I try to put myself in that, in that place, and that's uh, that is totally perfect. Uh, awesome. Name for one of my favorite serious movies of all time. Blazing Santo. <laughs> I don't know what it's named for, but that's what it says. Blazing Santo. Smoky, earthy cedar, pine, brown sugar, vanilla, and palo santo. Is it santo or santo? It's santo. People okay. correct me. Okay. <laughs> I'm saying it right. Correct. My old boss was santo. San, yeah, Santo. So I try, so I try not to say Santo, Santo. Santo. <sighs> mm -hmm. Again, I pick up the cedar, but that's because my brain told me to. <laughs> um, this is really nice. How many times have I said that so far? <laughs> really nice. Mm. Oh, I like that one. Ooh. I knew you would. That's sweet. And those scent notes don't sound like it would be. That's sweet. <laughs> it's very, very nice. Sweet and like woody earthy. Oh, the sweetness in that. I love that. What is that? Brown sugar? Oh, that's beautiful. Again, that's another one. <laughs> Almost mm. beach night perfumey. Like peaceful. That's really, yeah, it's a very peaceful. These, uh, that make a great most of these soap. robes have just been really peaceful aromas. Like a beautiful clean soap or even like mm. a cologne. Oh, I like that one. Blazing Santo. Hmm, I have to remember that in a cologne. Oh, perfume technically. Mm. Oh, that one broke all the heck and back. <laughs> oh, yes. oh yeah. Well, they... oh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, this one is called apple cider gingerbread. They had Yummy. me gingerbread. <laughs> well, they'd have made apple cider, so I'm a gingerbread thing. It's also open. Uh -oh. I didn't open it. Oh my gosh, this is good. good. Yes. Mmm. Apple cider donut and gingerbread. Oil. Apple cider donut. No, it says apple cider comma. Oh, donut. Okay, there's a comma in that one. Hmm. This is really nice. Oh, my goodness gracious. Ooh. See, I had a feeling apple and gingerbread would be amazing together. Yeah. 
That was oh, very nice. Oh, that's like a beautiful store. Like, mm. oh, and like apple cider. I like that one. It has a very nice, like, yuppie shop kind of a smell to yeah. it, too. Yeah. Oh, that's yuppie beautiful. Shop. That's where you buy yuppies. I think of Bar Harbor when. I know. I love <laughs> yuppie shops. You know. It's got a Bar Harbor vibe at Christmas time, but mm -hmm. I don't even think it's open technically. <laughs> some of them are, and some of them aren't. Yeah, the, some of the shops are open through the whole year. But this is called Spooky Season. Oh, they made the name. <laughs> Palo Santo and roasted pine cone. It's not a lot. So far, I love the scent notes. <laughs> it's really pretty too. Look mm. how pretty it is. Look at that. Back up. tree my mother's house here in Pennsylvania is right beside a pine forest basically that the neighbors have and this reminds me because I mow there all the time this reminds me of the smell of that pine forest it's not a strong pine scent mm, yeah, this pine is cone. roasted pine cones but the the ones that the trees that they have are the long needles with a lot of pine cones it's like mm. a creamy, creamy tree smell. A creamy, cozy tree smell. And then the Palo. Which might be giving it the creamy, I don't know. So I usually a, always have Palo mm. and Pinecone together, so. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a running theme through Sassy Girl yeah. Aromas. Uh, mm -hmm. At least it stands out to me. Sometimes when you, when you, you know, sniff the aromas and so forth, you get you're looking at the ingredients and that kind of thing, but these take you somewhere. Mm. So that's been, that's very interesting about this. When you, when you smell these aromas, they take you to a memory, to yeah. a place that you've been. And I, that's or, just absolutely outstanding. Or like, you feel like when you read a book, like it takes you to a yeah. mental yeah. vacation somewhere. Yeah. A hundred percent agree with that. This statement. is very interesting to me. So, uh, I think that happens when you're in a lot of these, uh, the the vendor waxes mm -hmm. where people are like they they will go for aromas that relate to them and things that they smell. I just think it's fantastic. It's what this is what it does to me. The sassy girl stuff, especially the you know. This is called Santa's eggnog, and it's also very pretty. I love that. Mm. <laughs> That's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Strawberry pound cake. Here you go again. And cupcakes at Tiffany's. Yeah, isn't that funny? Santa's eggnog is, it's funny that the scent notes in the name aren't quite the same. Yeah, there's no egg, eggnog yeah. listed on here. Strawberry pound cake and cupcakes at Tiffany's. Let's see what that combination Again, is. Again, I'm trying to figure out if I like strawberry pound cake. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know I like cupcakes at Tiffany's. It just <sighs> reminds me of Sensi's happy birthday a little bit. This is not real cakey to me. This oh. is very, uh, even though everything in it's cakes. <laughs> Cupcakes, pound cake, that kind of thing. Well, maybe, yeah, I can, I I can I do this. This is like while it's baking. Yeah, like a batter. Because yeah, I think I'm smelling nice. a batter. Yeah. This is really good. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Well, that could be one of my favorites out of this batch, out of this bunch, I should say. I do. I smell batter. And then that strawberry oil is different. Mm. Uh, what is happening here? Uh, I can't place it. It's it's not like fresh picked strawberries. It's like if strawberry were perfumey. And then like cake batter. It's almost like a strawberry liqueur. I I don't know. I'm not. I'm I'm just getting what I said straight up. And yeah, <coughs> I get the cake batter feel. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to place that strawberry. Like I'm used to like took strawberries out of the freezer is what I 
I think I should smell, and I'm not. It's more of like a strawberry liqueur. Um, Never had strawberry liqueur. I'm not saying there is yeah. one, but yeah, maybe there's one. This is itchy from the waxes. Sorry. So here's a question for you oh, before trolls. we do this last one, and that is, when you do the hokey pokey, what do you do? I was. What do you do? Answer the question. Shake it all about, and, and I was it. thinking Taylor Swift. Shake it up. <laughs> shake it up. <laughs> Well, that's okay. My brain goes to Taylor Swift. Yours goes to the Hokey Pokey. <laughs> yeah. Well, because it says shake it all about. It doesn't say shake it up. Salty sea stuff. air, sweet lavender. You don't like that? Mm, that's and marshmallow. <laughs> lavender and marshmallow. What's the other thing? Salty sea air. Oh, my God. Yeah. Sweet lavender and marshmallow. And look that's how pretty be, it is. Look how pretty, pretty, pretty. Those are my favorite colors. That's oh, going to yeah. be the best thing ever. I know it is. <laughs> Salty sea air, you had me. Lavender, you got me. Mm. Um, And then, I can't remember the other one. Marshmallow. <laughs> this is a very, uh, This I'm not saying this is a weak scent. This is a right. mild, uh, really comfortable Scent. Soft. Yeah, comfortable. Okay. Soft. Really pretty. Oh my goodness. I don't mm. when you describe a oh, an aroma as pretty, that's <laughs> oh, that's the prettiest thing. <laughs> so pretty. That's so me. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I love all this salty sea air. Mix it with lavender marshmallow, man. And it's a sweet lavender. Oh, that's amazing. I should have got a couple of those. I had a feeling. Hmm. I had a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. that's hmm. That might be my favorite one of the whole bunch right really? now. Really? Yeah, that's, <sighs> that's really good. It's very good. I am obsessed. Mm. Shake it all out. Highly recommend. <laughs> So you guys, that's my sassy haul this time. I did um, do the recent um, Elvis sampler because she did the Elvis one for her son. Um, reminds me of Lilo and Stitch, how cute. Like I'll never watch that movie again and not think of her son. So, um, cause Lilo loved Elvis. But yeah, so I'm really super excited about the peanut butter and banana mm -hmm. sandwich. <laughs> like super excited, but they all sounded so fun. Um, so that'll be coming in a, in like five weeks, six weeks. So, yeah. So I hope that was fun. There's not a bad one in that bunch. Mm -mm. No, I mean, <laughs> really seriously. Very, very good. Yep. So. Samples are amazing. Yeah, this is cute. This would be perfect for a mini warmer. Mm -hmm. Like won't overflow a mini warmer. I could do that right. in the bathroom. Yeah. Normally I'll pop it in my one in my kitchen. But I kind of like that for a mini warmer. It's Cute little, little baby pie. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. It's really cute. Yeah, this is wonderful compliments to Sassy Girl. And what a, you know, a once again, outstanding stuff. Just amazing, so. You always steal my heart. Yep. Yeah, very much <laughs> always so. always make my day. Yeah. Thanks for doing what you do. Peace to you. Yep. Love you, bye.